Last video we send the message and in this video we'll design a chat box using the bootstrap where user, buyer and seller will communicate okay so in probably in two videos we'll finish designing uh, chat uh, with the bootstrap and if you don't like to design then you can get this code from the design folder here you can see in the design folder in the resource of views design and you have a chat.html you can simply copy this okay so now let's start. So before doing that, here I like to uh, I like to validate if user is submitting something blank. Then let's not send a request to the server. So we'll check here if this dot body equals to null or something. Then we'll simply a lot. Uh, please write your message something like this and then return okay and let's refresh this and if I don't write anything then it's simply give me a simple message now first thing is to make the route so let's make the get route and this will be the messages and index and we'll have a middle auth here you can also simply paste this auth here okay auth and let's go here and let's make the method that will render the view where we load our component so index and here we'll write return view message 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 dot index and in this index page we'll load our component and we'll make that component and then we'll load there so obviously you can copy all the code from here for the component and now let's go here uh, let's make the folder in the views folder I'll write message and then in the index index dot blade dot PHP and here will be something like index and here we load our component now let's go to the messages and you can see index now let's create the component so we'll go here and he'll make the component name it as conversation c o n b r s a t i n conversation dot view and template and then we'll have the script okay and now we have to register this component so let's register this component so let's write here deep and deep and class row and component chat or chat component and thing and now we need to register this component here so I'll copy one of these and paste just below here and I'll write C O N B E R S A T I N conversation C O N B E R S A T I N conversation copy this conversation and let's go to index and here we we'll load this component conversation okay so we load it here now we should see component chat everything is fine now what I like to do is so in the left bar I like to show the list of username and on the right side we'll have a text and on the footer we'll have a chat box okay where the user can type and send a message so this is one this window will be another and this will be a small chat box so now let's start design so we'll make a very basic type of design and you can get this all code from the design folder in the resources views design folder you have a chat.html you can also copy from there okay so let's make deep close the deep and class co md2 here will show the list of users and we'll make another div close the div and here we'll make the div class go md10 okay and below it will make the text box for now let's work on cool md10 so we'll have the div and we'll have a class car and we'll give here the car header Deep, close the deep class car 
HEA tier header and text center C and T A R A center text center and let's give the span and let's give something like chat here or chat something and something uh, went wrong I think so it's highlighted so tip call md here tip class card is here this tip so we have two tips studio one okay save this and sorry this is the row so one tip is missing here tip close it and let's save this still something is wrong so tip class row this is closed here and this car this is closed here this is closed here this goes here this goes here. this is closed here so so we have to give your slash suspend sorry slash suspend and save this now everything is fine so if you refresh then you can see like this okay now so we have your chat you can see here we have a chat here we can give any message there and within the card we can make a card body so this is the card and here i'll make a card body so deep class card body card body and so we have a card body and we can give some custom uh, class also so here are a chat uh, I can write this as a chat buddy or something chat uh, MSG or a chat message and here I'll give the UL tag close this UL give the class edge chat and we'll give the list tag li close this li and here we'll give the class edge let's make this at center clear fix yeah clear fix and so we have this and here we can display the image so i'll make this span close this span and here will be the image of that sender okay and within the ally again we'll make a dip close the dip and let's give the class chat body c actually chat body and c l e a r clear fix and now let's check this so you can see we have this one we have a card with a list of future we have image here and we'll have a date here and just below there we'll have a text okay so in the chat body we want to display the name of the user who has sent the message and we want to display the text right so let's make a dip and close the dip again and since we have a chat body now we have a class edge header and we'll like to clear fix header and within the header we'll have the strong tag str and strong open and close strong tag and here will be the name of user we have sent the that message and outside uh, of this you can have the small sm Yes, ML small close the small tag as slash SML small and here we'll actually uh, display the date so small and let's give the class edge 
I'll move this to the right. Text muted. M-U-T-E. The text muted. And within this, uh, we can make a span. So I'll make here a span. 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 And let's give the class uh, span. And here will be date. This is the date when this message was sent. And our small is also close there. And this div is close here. And within here, in a p tag, here I'll display the message. Let me SSAG message. So now refresh. And this is how you can see. So image will be here, date will be here, and the message will be here. Let's copy this one and let's make for let's say this is if this is for from the center then we have to make from the buyer job so I'll copy all of this and now this is from the buyer so here the message here uh, we can give the something class like chat image img image rsgt write clear fix mx2 so let's copy this and we keep in here as well so it's the class let's copy this one and let's keep here as well so here we don't write right this will be beautiful in the left side and we have a chat body here we have the header and we have the name here so name is in a strong tag let's uh, give the class for this name say this is class and the class will be I want to display this is in the right P R I M A R I primary font and here is the name and we have a date and finally we have the message so if you reload then you can see and later on when we apply the CSS this will be on what one message from the sender will be here and message from the receiver will be on the other side now let's display the JR small text box so that we can enter the message so we close this here and we close it here and this is closed here okay so here will be the deep class for you so deep class car footer so let's check whether it is in the right place or not and yes this is in is this is within the right place so now we can make a text box here so here I'll make the input input and type will be the text type txt text and let's keep the class form control c o n t r l control uh, input 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 sm and placeholder please write the right write your message let me say the message please write your message or something like that and close it here So this will be our text box and here we'll make a span and let's give the class as input input GRUP group input group button and here we'll make our button button to submit this text button class button button primary pram array primary and here we can write something like send okay so if we go here and if we refresh then you can see this one but this is coming down so let's fix this so 
what we can do here is we have the card footer and then this within this input group button class button button primary and send and span is closed here uh, and the button is closed here and we have a span tag that is closed with and that is within the button okay so wrap this within input group so deep class input group and close deep somewhere here and I'll format it so now everything should be fine and everything is fine and in the next video we'll apply the CSS